The word of God in Psalms 138 verse 7 says, You keep me alive when there is trouble all around me. When my enemy is angry, you fight against him. You save me with your right hand, my God. He said, you keep me alive, dear child of God. God will keep you alive. They wanted you dead, but they have failed. Because God will keep you alive. Everything that they are planning against you, none of them will succeed. Because God will keep you alive. Dear child of God, all of their plots, everything that they wanted to do against you, none of them will succeed because God is keeping you alive. God is saying to you that you will not die. He's saying to you that you will live to declare the works of the Lord. He's saying to you in the land of the living, you will reign and you will reign so greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. So tell yourself today that my God is keeping me alive. Tell yourself today, my God is keeping my family alive. Tell yourself today that God is keeping my spouse alive. No plans of the enemies will succeed. Nothing that they want to do against my life will come to pass because God will not allow any of them to come to pass. He says, you keep me alive. This was the testimony of David. David was faced with death times and times again. But God kept him alive. Dear child of God, you know many times they wanted to destroy you. You know how many times they have tried to take your life away. But God did not permit it. And that was because God kept you alive. Because God kept you to enjoy his blessings on the face of the earth. Because God said to you, it is not your time. And they cannot do anything about it. So tell yourself today, and I know God is keeping me alive, that I know God is preserving me. I know God will be there for me and I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to be afraid because God is working out wonders for me and for my family in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, you keep me alive when there is trouble all around me. What is that trouble that has been all around you, dear child of God? What is that trouble that is bringing you down every day? What is that trouble the enemy has brought into your home that is already crushing your home, that is already breaking your home apart? I want you to know that God will be there to take away those things of your family. He said, is your ever-present help in the time of trouble? In Psalms 46 verse 1, it says, he is your refuge, he is your strength. So know for sure that in that time of trouble, God will show up and he will show up in a very massive way and will make sure that that trouble fizzles out. It would make sure that that trouble, those things the enemies were doing against your life disintegrate, that you will not see it ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. This is when there is trouble all around me. What is that trouble all around you right now, dear child of God? God will deal with every of those things. Just go to him and say, Lord, I bring these troubles to you. Everything the enemies were doing to crush me down, to destroy my life, I throw them all to you. He says, cast all of your troubles. Cast all of your cares upon him, for he cares for you. He says he's concerned about you. He loves you. And he wants you to bring those heaviness of heart to him because he knows just what to do. Dear child of God, God will attend to everything around you that is bringing pain, that is bringing the heaviness of heart that is destroying you, that is killing you, God will attend to each and every one of them. And he said, when my enemy is angry, you fight against him, my God. Those who have decided to be angry, those who have decided to be violent against you, those who have decided to be very violent, God will deal with each and every one of them. And he said, what he will do is that he will fight against them. He told you, hold your peace. He said, see what I would do. The vengeance is mine. He says, watch me fight for you. He says, watch me bring you that victory. Every of those enemies that have been contending against you, dear child of God, you will be victorious. You will win over them because God is rising for you and God is fighting for you. And he will save you. He said he will save you with his mighty right hand. Dear child of God, you will see God save you. You will see God lift you up. Yes, they wanted you to drown, but God will lift you up. He will take you like he took David out of the miry clay. 
It will change everything concerning your life and concerning your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He's saying to you that when you call, he would answer. He will show himself to you and to your family. He said he will be with you in the times of trouble and he will deliver you. And after the deliverance, he said he will bring you honor. My God, he said he will bring you honor. He said, I will deliver him and honor him. Dear child of God, God will deliver you and God will honor you. He says, for that shame, for that trouble, for that affliction, for those things you went through, he said he would deliver you. And even more, it will bring you honor. So go to him and say, God, you have promised to give me honor. I believe in you. I count on you. Everything you said, I agree with. And I want to begin to see them in my life. I have a good news for you, dear child of God. You will see every of the things that God wants to do in your life. And you would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to celebrate. You would have reasons to dance. Because God did it. Because God came through for you and made your life beautiful in the mighty name of Jesus. God is wiping all the tears off your eyes and God is turning your story around in the mighty name of Jesus. He would deliver you. He says the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Psalms 41 verse 1. Dear child of God, in that time of trouble, in that time of affliction, in that time of pain, God will deliver you. God will bring blessings upon blessings to you in the mighty name of Jesus. He's saying, do not be afraid what they have said they would do. All of their threatenings, the things that they said they would do against you, the violent men, the people who have decided to be malicious against you, the people who have said they would do you evil. He said, don't be afraid because I would make sure none of the things they want to do against you will succeed. All the troubles that they brought around your life, I will take each and every one of them away. Yes, they made sure your marriage was in trouble, but God will deliver you. God will make sure that peace, that peace, that peace that He alone can bring will come to your life, will come to your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, they have troubled your business. They have troubled your finances. You never knew. You brought them in because you thought that they also had good intentions for you, but you never knew that they were going to destroy you. They troubled everything around your life, but God is changing the story and every single one of them will see how God will see you back on your feet. They will see it. God will cause you to be standing strong and you will bounce back in the mighty name of Jesus. And every one of them who did what they did to destroy you, they will begin to receive the reward for their evil in the mighty name of Jesus. So go to God. Go to the one who said he is your refuge. Go to the one who said he is your strength. And is ever present to help you go to him and say lord i commit my life to you please assist me do me well and show yourself strong and mighty in my life please give me that testimony i've been praying for and turn my story around and i have this good news for you god will turn everything around and you look around you and you'll find none of those trouble anymore you will look around you and you'll find none of those things the enemies were doing to afflict you anymore and you will be able to say, Blessed be the Lord Most High, who rideth in the heavens to help me, the God of Jeshurun, who came through for me with his excellent power. God will come through for you. He will show his might in your life and in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. The troubles will be gone. The pains of yesteryears will be gone. And your season for joy, celebration, and rejoicing will come in the mighty name of Jesus. God is closing the curtain of those troubles, of those pains you have experienced and is opening the windows of your blessings, the doors of your celebration and your liberation in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will be celebration all the way in Jesus' mighty name. Your turnaround testimony has come and you will rejoice so greatly in Jesus' mighty name. He said, you keep me alive when there is trouble all around me. When my enemy is angry, you fight against him. You save me with your right hand. God will save you and God will cause you to testify. He will do something that will cause you to shout for joy in the mighty name of Jesus. As the scripture says, we will shout for joy when you are victorious and we lift up our banners in the name of our God. 
you will lift up your banner because God has made you successful, because God has fulfilled his desires for you in Jesus' mighty name. And you'll be grateful because his plans, his purpose, and his thoughts have come to pass in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Congratulations because it is your time to testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.